So again, it says for real a, b, c, which means for real values of a, b, and c, if a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals to a, b plus b, c plus c, then what is the value of a plus c by b? So what is the condition now? That a squared plus b squared plus c squared should be equal to a, b plus b, c plus c. Again, if you are a smart student, if you have practiced using substitution uh, during your preparation, you would know that a, b, c, all three are equal. Only then this is possible. I mean, there can be other solutions as well, but then simple, substitute 2, 2, 2. So 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square, and then 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. So can you say a, b, c all are equal? Yes. You can substitute 1, 1, 1 also. 1 square, 1 square, 1 square, 3. 1 into 1, 1 into 1, 1 into 1, 3. You can substitute 16, 16, 16 also. 16 squared, 16 squared, 16 squared. So 256 plus 256 plus 256. 16 into 16 is 16 squared. 16 into 16, 16 squared. 16 into 16, 16 squared. So again, 256 plus 256 plus 256, which is 768. So 768, 768. So basically, A, B, C, all three are equal. That's it. If you have realized that, put it here. All three are equal. The question is A plus C by B. Let us substitute A plus C by B as A plus A by A. Because C is equal to A, B is also equal to A. So 2A by A, it is equal to 2. Option C would be the answer. All right. So substitution method is really very, very important, especially in trigonometry and, uh, you know, algebra. But it, it needs a little practice. So when you're preparing for these exams, use the substitution method. Most of the questions from these two topics can be answered just by simple substitution and elimination of options. X plus Y is equal to 2A. X plus Y is equal to 2A. Then what is the value of A by X minus A plus A by Y minus A? So basically X plus Y is equal to 2A. Then what is A by X minus A plus A by Y minus A? Now this in my view are the easiest question types from algebra or even otherwise I would say these are like very very simple questions citrus see there is no condition there in the question except that x plus y should be equal to 2a satisfy this condition using some values of x and y and a and substitute the same values here whatever you get here should be the answer you're able to follow if you don't want to actually worry about getting the right equation solving the equation and all that right using the traditional method just substitute some values randomly in the given condition. What is the condition given to us? x plus y should be equal to 2a. So let us assume x is equal to 2. Let us assume y is equal to, you know, 4. y is equal to 4. So what happens? 2a will be equal to 2 plus 4. Right? Which means a is equal to 3. You're done. So according to the question, indirectly he's saying x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4, a is equal to 3. Now you may ask me a question. x equal to 2 and y equal to 4 was not given. This is what we have chosen. Doesn't matter. You take any value for x and y, accordingly find out the value of a, substitute these values back into this expression, you will get the final answer. So do this now, what do we get? a is equal to 3, 3 by x minus a. So 2 minus 3 plus a is equal to 3, y minus a, 4 minus 3. So 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 4 minus 3 is 1. So basically minus 3 plus 3, minus 3 plus 3 gets cancelled, we will be left with 0. So option B is your answer. But if at all you want to do it in a regular method, traditional method, what do you do? See, x plus y is equal to 2a. You can say x minus a is equal to a minus y. See, split this 2a as a plus a. Take 1a on the other side and bring y on this side. So x minus a is equal to a minus y. Substitute. From the equation given to us, we know that x minus a equal to a minus y. Substitute it here. Now, what is that equation? A by x minus a. Now, x minus a can be taken as a minus y plus a by y minus a. Now, overall, if you see a by y minus a, if you take minus sign common here, this becomes a minus y. I am rewriting, overwriting on that, but you have understood, right? I mean, you don't have to write this step in the exam. a by a minus y, a by minus of a minus y. So, this is like, you know, uh, m minus m or some term minus the same term which is equal to 0. So either way you get the answer but do not worry about this traditional method right most of the questions from algebra and trigonometry can be solved just by substitution just by substitution but sometimes substitutions can 
be complex i mean it may not give you the answer so you have to choose the values accordingly like for example i assume that if i take like here we have taken x equals to 2 and y equals to 4 so we are able to get it but let's say both x and y are equal now you can ask me a question where is it given that x and y are equal it's not given but is it also given that they are unequal no so i can do anything i want so let's say x equals to 2 and y also equals to 2 so then what will be the value of a uh, 4 by 2 a is also equal to 2 so basically x y a all are 2 2 and 2 substitute here so what happens 2 by 2 minus 0 2 by 2 minus 0 that results to infinity now because it is giving us a undefined solution we will assume that this substitution is incorrect see substitute the values in a way that you get a proper answer options are very clearly given as 2 1 0 and minus 1 so when you are give, getting an undefined solution change your substitution okay change your substitution and it becomes easier